If you're looking for a really easy cake recipe that's packed full of flavor, then look no further than my pineapple upside down cake. My favorite thing about this retro classic is the sticky caramelized edges, the moist tender vanilla cake, and the pineapple slices. It all teams together to make something that's really delicious. By the way guys, I'm filming today in my brand new kitchen, which is not 100% done yet. It's about 50% of the way there, but a tour is coming. If you want to watch that, make sure you're subscribed. The start of the show is the pineapple. So we're going to be using canned pineapple. If you want, you can use fresh pineapple, but I don't have time for that. So we are going to be draining the pineapple from the juices. We're going to be using some of that juice in the cake butter, so don't throw it out. Lay your pineapples on a baking tray that's been lined with some paper towels, and we are going to pat the top dry. We're also going to be doing the same with our maraschino cherries. Set that aside, and today we're going to need a 9-inch cake tin. We're going to add some melted butter in there and we're going to just brush it around the sides. There'll be excess that's going to fall back down to the bottom and that's normal. Then we're going to sprinkle half a cup of brown sugar. That brown sugar, when it bakes with the cake, is going to caramelize those pineapples and give it this deep golden color. It, it's honestly amazing, guys. You have to try this recipe. Arrange your pineapple pieces in there, starting with the first one in the center. Now, I actually cut my pineapple pieces in half because you can actually fit more in there and it looks really pretty, right? Then in all of the gaps, you're going to add some maraschino cherries. These have been pitted and I've taken the stalks off. If you want to go nuts, like I did, you can add it to every single gap you can see. And by the way, guys, this doesn't just make the top of your cake look pretty, but it adds loads of flavor. Once you've got that looking nice and neat, you are going to set that aside and we're going to move on to the butter. It's really easy. We're going to be adding some flour, some baking powder and salt to a medium sized bowl. Run it through a sift and we're going to set that aside and move on to the wet ingredients. So, some butter into a large mixing bowl along with both of the sugars. You're going to mix that using an electric hand mixer and then you're going to add your eggs, two of them, one at a time, mixing each time. Once you've mixed both of those in, you're going to add some Greek yogurt. No, you can't taste it. And yes, it adds loads of moistness. Mix that in before you add some vanilla extract and all of your dry ingredients along with some of that reserved pineapple juice, which actually makes this taste really pineapple-y. Once it's all mixed, we're going to pour it on top of our cake tin ingredients and we're going to bake this for 30 minutes. Once it's finished baking for 30 minutes, take it out of the oven, cover it with some aluminium wrap and then bake it for a further 15 minutes. Doing this, make sure that your cake doesn't brown and burn in the final 15 minutes. After the final 15 minutes, uncover it and we're going to place a plate on top. We're going to flip it over, give it a gentle tap and it's just totally going to come out without being stuck, right? Well, no. But really guys, the sticking is actually normal if it happens. Sometimes it doesn't, sometimes it does. If it does, you can literally just shovel it out of the cake tin, anything that's stuck and put it back on the cake and no one even knows. This cake is warm still, so I'm gonna let it cool to room temperature and then it's ready to slice and serve. And guys, my favorite way to serve this is with a good generous dollop of whipped cream Another maraschino cherry on top, and trust me when I say, guys, this is moist, it's delicious, it's super easy to make, and you need the recipe, and you're going to find it on my website, my brand new website, which you guys can go and visit right now. 
It has loads of new features. You can actually print recipes now. You can tick off the ingredients as you go through them and it has loads of other great things as well as loads of my existing recipes all at thescranline.com. I hope you guys enjoyed spending time with me in my kitchen today. I am so excited for you guys to try this recipe and if you're looking for other delicious recipes, they're up on screen right now. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you all on the next episode of the Scranline.com.